Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders in the digital infrastructure industry, like my friend George over here. And we are coming at you live. That's right. We're live, George. Is that okay with you? Sure. Absolutely. Uh, I knew I knew it would be, Very George. Alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From PTC 2025 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Not a bad gig today, right? Terrible weather. I know it's terrible. Like I wish I were back in Chicago where I could, my eyelashes would yes, be freezing to my eyes right now. I'm from the DC area and it misses snow. Yeah, no, you get it. You get it. But anyway, George is the, inter the, um, the internet. George is responsible for international business development for global links. Easy for me to say, That's right, it. George? That's right. So George, let's go ahead and jump right in. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about how global links is positioning itself in the subsea cable and satellite gateway this is this sure. is a new question for me today sure. uh, satellite gateway markets to enhance connectivity sure so we are a hybrid we're a data center slash cable landing station slash satellite teleport so um, the first of its kind on any jsa tv interview well, over yeah. the last two days yeah well it's kind of like where the world is heading right now yeah. dean because we have uh, subsea uh, cable systems arriving in Virginia Beach from mostly uh, the Western Hemisphere, mm -hmm. places like Europe, South Africa, and the Caribbean and the like. Um, but, and once they become terrestrial, um, they're looking for co-location within a data center. We're carrier neutral. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, we are a satellite teleport. So directly adjacent to the data center is um people leos meos mm -hmm. we have currently have spacex as as a customer they're a, heard of them they're an yeah <laughs> big leo so they yeah. co-locate in our data center yeah. and we supply them power not only in virginia beach but we also have a facility in um, myrtle beach south carolina so you have those three um facets of technology yeah. con in, in one spot basically you mentioned power. I want to talk about that just a little bit more. Specifically, uh, energy consumption and sustainability. Nobody nobody leaves the JSA chair without no. talking about at least sustainability or AI. We'll probably talk about both. It's huge. Yeah. Uh, things like AI and, you know, as more and more applications migrate to IP, you have things like AI and the like. Um, we're very fortunate. In Virginia Beach, there is a, a very green initiative. They're building uh, 44 wind generating stations mm -hmm. offshore uh, the in um, the incumbent uh, power companies dominion power dominion uh, they've already put up two wind power yeah. stations now they're going to put up 44 and they're running a uh, fiber optic line directly to our data center for uh, i love it for storage so it's it's a very green initiative and it's pretty much where the world is heading because yeah. things like ai Power is is huge right now for data centers. Without power, there is no AI. Yeah, and yeah. you're seeing, I mean, in all honesty, you're seeing a lot of things such as crypto mining, and that when you have a, a whole bunch of GPU yeah. servers that are eating up power and yeah. have to stay cool, it's all power, power, power. So they're all we're, <laughs> we're all scrambling for the gold. Well, that it, it's funny because um, earlier um, we were talking, we were laughing actually because it, it used to be like, oh, is there space? We don't have any space. And now we're like, well, we got some space, but we ain't got no power. And and that the whole concept of, of bring your own power the, and, the, and the renewables. And, and I thought I had read where maybe Dominion was actually getting into nuclear too, or maybe they already were. Um, so there's there's a lot of that happening right now. There's nuclear, there's wind power, there's solar farms, yeah. there's, I mean, and you're, we, we find ourselves being approached by, uh, by folks who deal strictly in that facet mm -hmm. of the business, supplying power to data centers in, in different modes. And it, it, it's a, it, it's a huge coming facet of, yeah. of the industry. Yeah, no, absolutely. And here's something that isn't isn't new to anyone, but is on the top of everyone's mind, and that is low latency. If yeah. it, if if it ain't low latency, it ain't worth much, right? Totally, it's all yeah. about speed. So yeah. you're right. We're we're in Virginia Beach, uh, and the only reason people come into Virginia Beach from a subsea aspect is. Aspirin is still the epicenter of the data center universe. Mm -hmm. So because uh, we're the closest thing to Ashburn, 
especially for folks coming in from Latin America. They would used to go yeah. to Miami or Jacksonville. Now they come to Virginia Beach, and it's a straight shot. And we're also looking at a um, uh, a cable landing station, possibly a little bit closer to Ashburn in the future. But yeah, speed kills. And it and, does. And it, it does. It's all about latency. It's make or break with speed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, look, you just mentioned we've got some things going on in the future. Let's do this again in the future, shall we? Yes, sir. All right, George. Thanks Thank for you being for here. Your time. You nice bet. Seeing you. You bet. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and we'll see you soon.